We begin with a list. That's what the play is about. Hi, I'm Kate Mulvaney and I am the performer of Every Brilliant Thing. This is not a play about one person's fight with mental illness. This is about every human's experience and every human's right to have the lows and the highs and what our role as a community is to help that person through it. Hi, I'm Kate Champion and I'm the director of Every Brilliant Thing. So Every Brilliant Thing is conceived from the perspective of a child around seven years old whose mother has tried to kill herself. And this child comes up with a means, a list of every brilliant thing that's worth living for in an attempt to convince their mother to not do it again. And from that we follow the protagonist, the child, through into adulthood and how that person copes with a parent who has a mental illness and the potential of how that carries on into their lives. But continually looking to the list to make life worth living. The first few things on the list do come from that very much a seven-year-old child's perspective. All things that we kind of universally as seven-year-olds would probably really, really enjoy. But of course, as our protagonist heads into adulthood, the list changes and becomes far more recognisable as, as adult concepts in the nicest kind of way. Not always. Sex comes into it later on, of course, but then so do things like Christopher Walken, aspects of Christopher Walken. Amazing, unexpected, unpredictable pops of wonder and joy and beauty come out of this list all through the show. And that's part of the joy, is sort of watching the protagonist grow through their own list. Hi, I'm Stevie Rogers and I'm the co-director of Every Brilliant Thing. I think the beautiful thing is that it's pure storytelling and it brings all of us in, into the room together. So by creating a list, we're connecting all of us in a way that we're, the things that we share uh, in life and that we're all mortal in a way. I just find it really beautiful in that elemental way. There's a democracy in the room that we're all a communion of people all sharing the beautiful things in life, I think. It's so prevalent at the moment to be focusing on, you know, uh, in a social media age, loneliness and isolation and cynicism, and this is the opposite. It's counteracting that. It's actually saying we're, we're all still together in a room and it happens live and it's, it's a brilliant thing. Hi, I'm Isabel. I am the designer of Every Brilliant Thing. We've kind of put the whole theatre into the round, which is one of the stage directions in the piece, which says the um, audience needs to be seated um, democratically. And I think that will quite change the space in um, Belva, but it's a different type of design. Like, it's really about um, changing the way that the audience and the performer are interacting. And I think also is a bit more like you're not meant to really feel the design in terms of being a presence but being just manipulated by it to almost be part more part of the story. I think everyone's always talked about the nature of the Belvoir stage having a sense of community or that you do see other people and this just notches that up to the epitome of what that is so for that stage for the Belvoir stage to embrace that feels organic and natural and the social issues issues behind it match that. It is a one-woman show, but it's also a 300-person show in that it is a dialogue between performer and audience. I need them as much as they need me to tell the story. So it's a very, very gentle, funny conversation. And even though it sounds really, really simple, it's actually quite an intricate conversation. We have music and we have movement and, and we have our list. And, and of course during the narration there's other characters that come into it. There is the mother and there is the father and there is, you know, the, the local vet and 
teachers and the people that do come in and out of our lives that we do sort of go to when we think about our childhood, they kind of colour the narrative as well. So yes, it's a one woman show, but there are so many other elements involved uh, that make you feel like you've had a really full, complete, complex experience in the theatre.